Hello everybody and welcome to our series 4 of uh, Reaper tutorials. In this series we are going to talk mostly about how to work with the re-surround pan setup. To make use of the latest and greatest improvements of Reaper we are first going to check if we are using the latest version of Reaper which is always available under the help item in the menu check for new versions of Reaper and here we can see that Reaper is up to date. Second, um, that's why uh, we regularly make new system configuration files in which you can make use of all the improvements. So uh, be sure to grab your last version available and I can tell you where they are. They are under preferences and in general you can import a configuration and as this is the configuration which we are using now um, this is not actually the latest configuration because you can check that on the server on the school in the project folders there is a reaper exchange folder and in the reaper exchange folder there is another folder with a config file for Reaper updated regularly. And as you can see, this is a newer version of the 23rd of September, today's date. And uh, we can just uh, open this and import it into our local configuration. Okay, I'm not going to do that now. I just wanted to show you where to get it so you can do it yourself. And uh, what we are going to have a look at now is what we prepared for you in this configuration file. Because uh, we can make a lot of templates and we are making use of those templates to uh, make life easier for you and also a little bit for us, uh, to be honest. Um, how uh, can we do this exactly? Well, we can open a template in File, in Project Templates, and as you can see, there is a student version and a teacher version. What is exactly the difference between the two? Well, the student version is uh, mainly supplied with free uh, available plugins. And the teacher version has like uh, paid plugins, so they are not everywhere available because not all of your machines will be licensed to have these plugins uh, working. And where are all the free plugins? Well, we can show you, because we have uh, prepared this as part of our system config, if we open our first template, the student template, then we can see that in the project settings that uh, the plugins we are using in this template are available, so you can just freely download them and install them on your machine and on your OS. So. Um, there are a couple of other things to check here. Um, usually it's the video frame rate, which is standard for our studios on 24 frames. And one more thing to check is in advanced. Uh, we have to check that the pen law is set to zero. That's the default. So it's not going to be on minus three or minus six. It has to be on zero. So if you have checked that all, you're good to go. And we can go on to the next tutorial. See you in a bit.